Hello, everyone. My name is Albert Kwan. I'm a physician in the Boston area, and today I'm uh, representing Augmentex. Augmentex is a uh, early stage digital uh, health startup that uses augmented reality technology to enhance neurological recovery for stroke patients. Stroke is a significant and rapidly growing problem because our population is getting older. And one in every six of us here will have a stroke in our lifetime. After a stroke, we will be subject to many years of rehabilitation therapy in hopes to recover some function, independence, and quality of life. So if the ability to enhance the recovery process uh, and even potentially maybe allow patients to achieve greater outcomes is a huge value proposition to patients, their family members, and our society as, uh, as a whole. After a stroke, um, patients typically have a short stay in the acute care hospital and then they go off to a rehab facility. Most patients go to a skilled nursing facility and others go to an inpatient rehab hospital or back to their home with outpatient therapy. Inpatient rehab hospitals have very sophisticated uh, therapy programs, especially if they have a lot of experience and a dedicated uh, 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 stroke program. However, at nursing home facilities or at patients' home, uh, they don't have easy access to these uh, great programs. Our digitized augmented reality therapy has the potential to actually provide those therapies to everyone. Let's say uh, this model stroke patient has left-sided weakness, and after putting on the augmented reality headset, the patient sees a virtual left hand, and that virtual left hand represents the patient's weak hand. And this virtual hand moves normally as if it's healthy, and it moves in mirror image to the user's own functional right hand. Studies have shown when patients watch uh, their impaired hand move normally again through visual illusions like this, and over time, their actual weak arm starts to move with a little more speed and better coordination. And this is called mirror therapy. So why is a digitized mirror therapy better than what's currently being used today, which is a simple physical mirror? Although mirror box therapy on the left has been studied extensively in stroke recovery and has shown some promising results in accelerating stroke recovery, However, patients' access to trained and experienced therapists is very limited. They're, and even after they learn how to do it from these therapists, once they go home, their compliance rate is very low. And that's partially because they have no objective ways to measure their progress and outcomes at home. And as you can see in the picture, some mirror box can be bulky and heavy for stroke patients to independently set up and take it, uh, put it away after each use. By digitizing this therapy, we solve these problems. We provide on-demand access to therapy, and we can provide digital assistance through voice, text, and uh, pictures. And that builds some structure of their home therapy program. And we can achieve better compliance through patient engagement tools and generate progress reports based on the, all the digital data that we collect. <coughs> Lastly, we have the smallest form factor of all computer mm -hmm. products, so uh, it's a truly mobile solution. The past two years have been very exciting for us because we got to play with multiple different headsets. Um, and a couple of things became very apparent to us really quickly uh, through the feedback that we got from our patients and therapists <coughs> that we uh, have been uh, working with. Field of view matters in healthcare AR applications, uh, especially if the AR application is intended to provide therapy. Uh, that has been a very uh, salient uh, feedback uh, that we've been getting from our patient group. And the end users in the healthcare AR applications are not AR enthusiasts like us. So a big system with multiple components, a lot of wiring, a lot of troubleshooting, it's just not going to work for them. So what they ideally prefer is an integrated form factor that can, uh, for instance, live on a, a cell phone. Uh, that they already have. Uh, we have been feeling this uh, a lot uh, through the past year, and I think there's a really big need for standardization of what we are all doing. Uh, as a software company, we have to be nimble and test out different uh, uh, hardware uh, 
but then transitioning from one to another has been difficult. And lastly, it's very important to build uh, clinical evidence in medical AR uh, applications. It takes time and money, but we have to go through this growing pain for, our, uh, for AR to survive and not become another uh, technology gimmick in healthcare. And investors have to be sensitive to that too. We have the vision that uh, our patients will be able to access AR technology in the future once it becomes very widespread but we'll start uh, deploying our solution in, in patient hospitals and clinics and eventually get to home therapy. We started actually uh, right here at MIT Media Lab at a hackathon event uh, in October of 2016. And uh, the, the team got together early last year and said, okay, let's go do this. For, so, and for the past year, we've been sprinting and uh, doing great things. Uh, we've, gone through the startup school by White Combinator, uh, been selected by MIT Solve as the uh, brain health challenge uh, solvers, and uh, we, we're currently housed at a Harvard Innovation Lab. Um, with that, all of those achievements, we spurred a lot of meaningful and fun discussions with various uh, hospitals across the country, and we're currently trying to narrow down two or three clinical uh, trial sites. Um, we've been bootstrapping to, uh, to this day, and it's becoming very apparent to us that clinical trials are not something that you can bootstrap. So we're uh, hoping to raise some funds uh, this year and then get that going. Thank you, and uh, we have a demo uh, outside, so please come by. Uh, feel free to ask any questions that you may have. I'm happy to answer anything about healthcare uh, and uh, the work that we do.